Danielle, Gino from Fox, Milwaukee. You don't know how long I've waited to talk to you. Oh my gosh. You're number one in my book. I just love what you do for so long. So Thank happy you, for your sir. success. The day yes. has come. The day has come. Yeah, and my day came because you call me sir, so I'm officially old. But that's all right. <laughs> I'm from the South. It's only right. I'm a Southern girl. Danielle, what did this experience mean to you? Oh, man, I don't think we have enough time to really talk about that. So I will be short and brief. Uh, this is a dream come to pass. I cannot believe that my life is what it is. Just getting Oprah's, you know, stamp of approval alone uh, has left me happy to be laid at rest. Um, but I'm very glad I am not because all of that I'm experiencing now has been so beautiful. Uh, and I'm so excited that I get to witness all of this glory. You know, we were on strike for a long time and we didn't know if what was going to happen. So I'm very happy that we get to experience this. You mentioned the queen. I, Oprah touched my hand here. No hair grows in this spot after she did that. <laughs> but tell me, tell me what she had to say to you. What advice did she give you? Oh man, she told me the well, few things she told me, but one is like, I come as one and stand as 10,000. She told me to remember that. She told me, um, to call on the ancestors. Don't be afraid to do that. And she also told me to keep a pure spirit about myself. And that one really stuck with me because this industry is very tough to navigate. Um, but I think where people have the longevity in this career and the respect in this career is when they do keep a purity about themselves. So. I'm focusing on that and taking people in. Um, and it, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, Sophia goes through so much and there's so many things that are so heartbreaking. How do you deal with that through the shooting of this movie? Um, I remember writing in my journal, after 70 plus days, I'm depleted. I was done. My body had taken a beat and literally had to go through uh, physical therapy, chiropractors for some of these scenes, uh, specifically the scene with the white mob um, that really took me out and um, pulled my back on that. <laughs> um, it was tough. It was emotionally draining uh, because sometimes, you know, you think you're done with a scene and then three, four days later, they want to go back and do reshoots. And to have to, like, drain all of that out and then find a way to bring her back, you know, and drain it out and find a way to come back to that scene. Specifically, the dinner scene was really, really challenging. But the beauty of what we do is that we don't do it by ourselves. So having such a great crew that um, was very respectful of the environment uh, and what we were trying to create and having a great cast that held me up um, during some of these moments was awesome, too. Well, you have an Italian in your corner. Whatever it is, I'm going to take care of it. That's what you need oh, to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I adore you. I mean it. Thank I just you. I can't wait to you. see you in person. I can't either. All the yeah. best. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.